nitrogen cycle. I promise you phosphorus and sulfur will be easy, but we started with water, easy, carbon, and nitrogen, nightmare. N for nitrogen, N for nightmare. So get ready. Here it begins. So how much of Earth or how much of Earth's, where is nitrogen on Earth? Mainly. How much of the atmosphere? 78%. That's actually this test. So 78% of our atmosphere is nitrogen gas. Remember, at this level of environmental, we want to call things as they are. So nitrogen is an element. When nitrogen is in the atmosphere, or 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Believe it or not, this gas is unusable to most organisms. So although the majority of our atmosphere or troposphere is nitrogen gas, only two organisms can use this nitrogen, okay? So because it's unusable nitrogen, consider that how you can remember the name of the first step. It's called nitrogen fixation. So these organisms are going to fix nitrogen, which is an essential element to organic compounds, right? Chan, PS. So it's going to fix it so all other organisms can use it. What organisms do you think can convert nitrogen gas? Good. Bacteria. Cyanobacteria, which is found in the water and rhizobium bacteria, which is found on land, more specific, in root nodules of legume plants. So like part of the plant structure, okay? So inside the root, there's these nodules, and it's specific to legume plants. It's actually a symbiotic relationship. All right, so nitrogen gas during nitrogen fixation is converted to what? Look at the diagram in front of you or in your iPad. Look at the molecules. Anybody know what that molecule is? Yes. It's converted to NH4 positive, which is ammonium, and also it's converted to ammonia. So how is it converted to one or the other? It's basically a reaction that you don't have to know each specific process. You just have to know that during nitrogen fixation, Cyanobacteria and rhizobium bacteria convert nitrogen gas to ammonia or ammonium ions. Who else or what else can do this? Look at your notes or look up the board. What else does this? It's not a living thing. Lightning. When lightning converts ammonia, see my lightning hitting a nitrogen gas? It's called lightning fixation. Same thing, nitrogen gas to ammonia or ammonium ions. Look at all you have to know on one slide. You have to know reactants, you have to know products, you have to know the name of the process, you have to know organisms involved. It's a lot. Is this cumulative? Yeah. It's when lightning hits nitrogen gas, ammonia or ammonium ions, a process called lightning fixation. If you call it nitrogen fixation by lightning, I'm going to accept it, okay? Usually on the test I put other than lightning, but if you're in the ocean and nitrogen gas is around, cyanobacteria can convert it to ammonia. If you're on land, root nodules of legume plants, rhizobium more specific, Bacteria there can convert, okay? So now we start with ammonia. Who converted nitrogen gas into ammonia? Bacteria. It's more specific, cyanobacteria and rhizobium. Now other bacteria, okay, see my bacteria here in the soil, whether it's in land or in water, there's going to be some form of soil or some form of this bacteria are going to go through a process called nitrification where ammonia is converted into what? Nitrates and nitrites. This process is called nitrification. Ammonia being converted to nitrates and nitrites. Now, once we have our nitrates and nitrites, those compounds can undergo two separate paths. One is called assimilation, 
and the other is called denitrification. Both of those will start with the reactant nitrates or nitrites. So let's focus on assimilation. So assimilation, what organism is going to take over now? Plants. Plants are going to convert nitrates and nitrites into what? What do plants usually make for us? They make oxygen if we're doing like carbon and, and uh, carbon cycle, right? Because they go through photosynthesis. Plants are the start of every cycle for living things. Like, in other words, for us, I would say. Without plants, we wouldn't get these compounds. So plants start carbon, plants start nitrogen, plants start phosphorus, plants start sulfur. But when you think of nitrogen, what do you think of as important for you? What is nitrogen found in? And if you look at my plant taking in nitrates, what are they making? DNA. What else? What other organic compounds? Let's say RNA too because they're the same. Organic compounds that contain nitrogen. Name me organic compounds of life. Anything carbon. Anything that has at least two carbons. DNA is one of them. And we call them nucleic acids. That's an organic compound. What's another? Amino. Carbohydrates. They don't have nitrogen. They have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Amino acids make what? Protein. Proteins have nitrogen. So two major, by the way, the organic compounds of life are carbs, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Carbs have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Lipids have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Protein and nucleic acids have nitrogen. All right, so they're going to convert it into what we call rich organic compounds of nitrogen, like DNA, protein, and RNA. And once the plant makes these organic compounds, the food chain will begin. So from here on out, like carbon... There's a food chain in nitrogen, there's a food chain in sulfur, and there's a food chain in phosphorus. So we had nitrates, and they went through assimilation. Now we're going to do our nitrates going through denitrification. What, what's happening? Look at this diagram and tell me what's going to happen. It's turning back into what? Nitrogen gas. And we call this denitrification think of it as a process where you're converting nitrogen back into a form that's limited use so it's denitrifying I'm trying to give you ways to remember nitrates are converted back to nitrogen gas and it's done by what we call denitrifying bacteria so during assimilation plants took in nitrates they made rich organic compounds an animal ate a plant, we ate that animal or whatever, we have that nitrogen-rich organic uh, form of nitrogen. What's going to happen next? Just like the carbon cycle. How? How does it go back? You either excrete waste or you die. You either excrete waste or you die, and it's going to go back, look at the name, ammonification, so it's going to go back as ammonia. So decomposers, our little recyclers, are going to take these nitrogen-rich compounds and break down living things and turn it into ammonia. And by living things, I mean living things that excrete waste or die. I'll just put slash die 